Hello everybody, uh, this is the 15th of January 2016 and I um, welcome you to Two Minutes with PJ. Today our discussion is going to be about promises. In Romans 15.8, we're to remember that Jesus came to show that God is true to his promises to help the Jews. In 2 Corinthians 7, 1, Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness and fear of God. In Galatians, Now God gave some promises to Abraham and his child. And notice that it doesn't say the promises were to his children, and to the sons, all the Jews were be, being spoken of and this child. In Hebrews 8, 6, But Christ, says the minister in heaven, has been rewarded with a far more important work than those who serve under the old laws because the new agreement that he passes on to us from God contains far more wonderful promises. By faith, Abraham believed. In Hebrews 11.33, these people all trusted God, and as a result, God fought and won the battles for them, overthrowing kingdoms. So what do we get out of this, everybody? Well, God made a promise to Abraham that he would have a son and generations more than the stars. When he was obedient, by getting ready to slay Isaac and holding Isaac over that uh, wood, of fire, wood and fire, being bound and getting ready to slay him, an angel stopped Abraham. And after that, Abraham proved his faith. And the promise that God made to him was there. God promised to take care of the Jews because he knew his one and only son, Jesus, would be born a Jew. God fought many battles for the Israelites when they repented and were faithful. Daniel believed and was saved from being eaten by lions. Jesus saved us and now is the minister in heaven. He will reward those who remain faithful. Is Jesus your minister too? I want you to think about this for this new day, Friday, and have a blessed day. Thank you. This was Two Minutes with PJ.